Action Force – International Heroes is a video game released by Virgin Games in 1987 for the ZX Spectrum and Commodore 64, and in 1988 for the Amstrad CPC. The game is set in the world of the Action Force G.I. Joe – Toys by Hasbro. <laughs> <laughs> Plot Cobra have launched a surprise attack on the island of Botsneta. In the panic of the evacuation, classified information has been left behind in the eastern sector. An action force team must cross to the eastern side of the island in a modified AWE striker to retrieve the data. Their path must be safely cleared of enemies and obstacles. Gameplay The player controls a helicopter which must clear the path for the striker and its occupants across a dangerous landscape. Rivers may be crossed by picking up pontoon sections and moving them to create pontoon bridges. The Sinclair Spectrum version of the game differs notably from the Commodore and Amstrad versions. Topic: <laughs> Spectrum The striker contains Flint, Lady J and Quick Kick, while the player controls Snake Eyes, who is equipped with a helipack and an automatic rifle. The striker will automatically stop when it meets an obstacle, and will begin moving again when the path is cleared. There are no enemy aircraft but missiles and aerial mines must be avoided or destroyed. C-64, CPC The striker contains Lady J and Crankcase, while the player controls Wild Bill and Flint in a XH-1 helicopter. The XH-1 is equipped with missiles and bombs. The striker will not stop when it meets an obstacle and will crash if the path is not cleared. The player must fight off hostile Cobra aircraft. Topic. Action Force 2 Action Force 2 – International Heroes is a video game released by Virgin Games in 1988 for the ZX Spectrum home computer. It is the sequel to Action Force. Sequel plot Cobra has taken a number of innocent citizens hostage and it is up to Action Force to rescue them. They are being held in separate groups atop various urban buildings. Each block must be scaled by quick kick while airtight covers him from the helicopter. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Sequel gameplay. As with Action Force, the player must shepherd a character across a dangerous environment. However, the game is otherwise completely different. The player controls the crosshairs of Airtight's weapon, and must shoot enemies that appear before they injure Quick Kick as he ascends the side of the building. Quick Kick also loses energy as the level progresses, it can be replenished by shooting the US flags on the walls of some screens. When Quick Kick reaches the roof the hostages are released and make their way to the rescue helicopter. At the end of each level Airtight may switch weapons, he can choose between a machine gun, bazooka or bio gun, each of which has different advantages and drawbacks. Every two levels the player must defeat a tank by shooting it a certain number of times within a time limit. Topic. Background Martin Wheeler, one of the developers, I think Action Force 2 was the game one was happiest with. We wrote it with instant arcade appeal in mind, deliberately playing on the tastes of the game's reviewers who slated DD2. They gave it the smash we thought Dan Dare 2 had deserved. Reception Sinclair user on Action Force, the programming was done by the same people who did Rebel for Virgin, and it shows. Rebel looked big, bold and sharp, and so does Action Force. It's one hell of a good game. Sinclair user on Action Force 2, hey. This game is brilliant. After a bad patch Virgin seems to have regained its former glory. 
Dan Dare was Brill, Dan Dare 2 was exceptional and Action Force 2, well it's transcended. Your Sinclair on Action Force 2, Action Force 2 is full of wonderful little touches, bullet holes appear in the brickwork, torches on the walls burn, your gunsight judders as you hold down the trigger. Quick kick expires convincingly if the enemy manages to shoot him or drop weights on his head. If you remember to shoot the dustbins, keep blasting the flags to restore energy, and keep your cool against the tank, the early levels are fairly straightforward. But as it gets harder and harder, Action Force 2 just gets better and better. Eugene underscore MC on Action Force 2, Action Force 2 have dead end level number 47. After tank fighting there are no American flags on minimum two level screens and on the middle of second screen energy completely expire. <laughs> 